Perfect. Well, I'll jump straight into it. Um, Walnut House is a single residential home that we built, a new build in Dalesford, regional Victoria. Um, a bit of a context of where the house is in relation to the site, uh, into relation to the city. So we've got the main kind of town centre, main street, Dalesford Lake here and the, the, the lake house, and then the Botanic Gardens up on the hill. This little circle here is where our house is located, adjoining between Central Springs Road and backs onto the, the gardens. The site itself, uh, as you can see, same orientation north up the page. The back of the site um, is substantially higher than the front of the site, so it slopes down towards the street. Towards the south are the views of the adjoining mountains and then botanic gardens up the, the rear uh, with the natural daylight. Dalesford's um, quite a historic town, um, settled a, a, a mining town, obviously, but weatherboard homes, gable buildings, um, and particular this precinct is, has a strong heritage uh, aspect to it. And that was something that was important with the design of the home, um, particularly something which we draw drew a substantial reference from was this large tree in the centre of the site. Um, that's a walnut tree and it was quite established, mature. It had a beautiful lean and form to it. Um, a few little other trees are around, but this one was something which we drew substantial um, you know, inspiration from. Moving to a, a few quick context photos. This is the front of the site, looking at that now tree side on you can see it kind of leaning backwards and then going up the hill that's the rear of the site and then from the rear looking down towards the front the big mature tree through there um, a bit of context before i jump into the plan so this is the final dwelling you can see that amount of slope that runs from the front to the rear um, this walnut tree obviously the inspo having a design which we separated into a public kind of living dining kitchen wing on the, on the left and on the right hand side, it was a, a series of bedrooms and private wing. Down below kind of grounded under this concrete plinth is a, a single, um, single garage for the occupant. It's a weekender and you know, the ability to use it. Um, so it was, it was important. I'll, just before I jump through to the, uh, the, the floor plans, obviously you can see this uh, smaller link between the two, with this access way defining this um, sight line through the building and this sense of um, enclosure as the canopy of, of, the build, of, of the tree, you know, wraps over you and around the building settled in, in, into, the, into that context of the space. So looking at floor plans, um, we've got north on the right, the street on the left, we've got a driveway through there. You can see the single garage, a bit of storage and an internal staircase up through to uh, the, the upper ground, I suppose. And we've got the suspended uh, concrete stair here wrapping up to the entry, a little side walkway down each end. And the positioning of the house in a broader context, central to the site, having that tree really touching the home and encompassing that house as we walk through the front door really maintaining that sight line that sense of separation or delineation between the two zones there is a lower ceiling height here to really enforce a sense of compression before opening up into this larger space as we walk through again we get another sight line looking out here to a beautiful maple on the left is kitchen dining with big windows looking out onto the canopy of the tree because we're up high now and out at the mountains. And on the right, we can walk straight out into the backyard and uh, batter and, and uh, garden space into the gardens. As we walk through the other side, so working on a lot of symmetry in this space, we've got up directly centered opposite this sight line through here is this uh, block of services, which delineates, a, 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 well, encompasses a little laundry, a powder room through here, and wrapped behind the back of it is a staircase to downstairs. And then really we've got a master bedroom wing with a private ensuite, again, looking onto the garden and the, the north, uh, northern light. And then through here, we've got a, a guest bedroom, again, with an ensuite and a little balcony, which they don't get the natural light, so they get a beautiful view sitting under the tree. 
So that's the back to the back to the facade. You can see that smaller um, sense of compression there, and, and this the response of the form, a modern form, obviously um, quite restrained in its materiality and detailing, um, respectful of that heritage context, and not being you know, down to a, a mock um, weatherboard foam, but referential in that aspect. Again, this sense of grounding element of permanence and solidity of this concrete plinth with this hidden um, garage door through there. Again, and this strong glazed connection looking straight through. So these big sliding doors, that's the dining area there, can fully open up on both sides to get the natural breeze and ventilation through. Thin um, balustrade, really kind of um, not, not complicating the building and distracting from what the, the form is. The shiplap cladding, again, referential in custom stain to match the, the, the walnut um, materiality um, and then the vegetation surrounding, really being a garden house, suspended concrete stair, being below that datum of the floor level with the concrete. There's the front entrance. So it's the same view looking from front to back, back to front. This, this uh, smaller 2400 ceiling height and then an access into the, the public living. And then when we get into that living space, it really opens up, um, up to four and a half meter high ceilings, paired back in its detailing and refinement. This ceiling is completely unobstructed from any um, downlights, penetrations, exhausts, et cetera. And really the, the refined lighting of this LED strip, the slither of sight, sunlight, which um, is over the kitchen continuously to the living, and obviously separated for switching. With the joiner itself, the joiner is such a key feature of this home to match the interiors with the architecture. This sense of obviously the walnut is the, the inspo with the walnut veneer, but this level of craftsmanship and detailing with the, the joinery handles, the, the intricacy of the um, those details and pairing back um, how it's executed. The symmetry again, left to right, as well as front to back. One minute remaining. Um, jumping through fireplace, kitchen through here. So that's looking the other way from the living back to the kitchen. Again, kitchen dining or custom joinery we did for this. Really reinforcing that sense of openness connection with the garden to, to the gardens to the north, the walnut tree to the south, as you can see here. And then the, the, the bedrooms, again, vaulted ceilings paired back in terms of uh, a, a bit more restrained white wall ceilings with walnut joinery, similar detailing for the, um, the, the two bathrooms with this detail of the grab handles, the nibs, and, and again, pairing it back to a more monochromatic from the, the heaviness of the kitchen and a smaller uh, little pantry uh, powder and detail.